and welcome back. Today we've got another £200 worth of 10 P's which we're hunting through, looking for alphabet 10 P's. But we'll take a territory coin or a foreign coin, something of interest. Ideally though, we want a 2019 dated alphabet 10 P. We've never completed the book and we're six off of completing it. So far, we've got A, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L and M. Oops. N, O, P, R, T, V and X. So any of those last six letters would make for very good finds now because the 2019 dated ones are so low minted and hard to find we started another 2018 book this is it this is in fact my third 2018 book so far we've got a e f g h i k l and m n q p s t u v x and y so we'll see whether we complete another 2018 book before finishing the 2019 one but we never know we may get lucky today hopefully that's the case but let's get into the bags to find out if today is our day okay whilst the coin hunt is ongoing i'm going to going through some comments left on my videos recently if you get a random love and like for me but no reply i've probably taken a screenshot of it to use in one of these q a videos just a reminder i am going to the Romans experience i've clicked the wrong button i need the calendar up i am going on the 23rd and 24th of november on the one o'clock tour if you want to come along and say hi feel free to and with this video i'm not sure if my audio was working for the actual hunt so it might sound a bit weird but apologies i think my microphone was playing up and obviously i'm not sure how i can fix that having already recorded but anyway uh we're gonna get into the first question which comes from yorkshire mad mick who says t-rex has been in the national museum in london for a very long time should be classed as british um, so this is in response to, I had a bit of a grumble about um, the first six Dinosaur 50Ps. I w wouldn't trust myself to be able to name all six of them, um, although I'm tempted now. Iguanodon, Megalosaurus, Hyliosaurus, followed by Temnodontosaurus, Dimorphodon, and did I say Temnodontosaurus? I can't remember. Anyway, those six were all uh, fossils of dinosaurs that were discovered in the United Kingdom because the Royal Mint for a long time had been, uh, we only mint British things on British coins, although they're opening the door to some other things more recently, uh, including these, um, the the, uh, the more recent three Dinosauria coins, which had the T-Rex and Diplodocus, which if memory serves, they were the two that were not discovered uh, as fossils in any part of the United Kingdom, and the Stegosaurus, which I believe was the one that was. Um, and these new three Ice Age creatures, the mammoth, woolly rhinoceros, and the big, not big deer, giant deer, <laughs> the mega fauna, Ice Age diddly doos, um, they are all creatures whose fossils have been discovered in the UK. So, um, yeah, the uh, the T Rex being in the National Museum for London, uh, making it British, I think. Uh, <laughs> It's some of our bigger museums, uh, there are a lot of countries around the world that would very much disagree with that, but uh, that's a whole other box of frogs which we are not opening, because it will only cause arguments, but uh, it's an interesting thought. I guess if it was, if the coin was a coin to commemorate that museum rather than the fossil, the dinosaur that was inside, I kind of get that, why it would appear, but uh, um, I still... Um, would disagree on the t-rex but that's fine we were allowed to disagree anyway com dam says i thought you were going to show us your lunch i bet mcdonald's <laughs> so i took a screenshot of that that they yeah and the, the, the problem with going to the royal mint as frequently as i do they do add different things um into the exhibition uh, throughout the year the problem is i go too often for there to be new stuff every time i think the royal mint experience is not really the the exhibition itself isn't aimed at people that come down like myself and many others every time the strike your own changes although i still think it's a fantastic tour i have a wonderful day uh, regardless of how often i've been down um but yeah there's not an awful lot of new stuff to record there um so <laughs> i thought just chuck in oh what i'm having for lunch and i totally forgot that this time um my latest one we didn't actually go to mcdonald's because our mcdonald's we normally go to was closed for refurbishments although i think it was going to be open this november uh, the trip the, the for the last trip of the year so um i actually went to taco bell after the Roman tour which uh, there we go right oh what's a name uh oh i can't even figure out where me name me names me names me, oh me names fabian i get it i see now it's all one word i was trying to figure out where to break it up okay uh it says how many uh, how do i get this many 50ps out in one go so in in regards to 
Uh, my coin hunts, I generally hunt a £250 bag of 50p's twice a week, £500 in £2 twice a week, £200 of 10p's once a week, and that, that's the, the regular ones and then the unhuntables and whatnots. So how do I get out these big bags of coins? It's a question I've answered many, many times, but um, in case there are new viewers, just to outline it, I would get them from my bank. Um, not all banks will be able to service that need. I do have business accounts because what you'll find is many personal accounts in uh, retail banking branches will limit the number of coins you can take out or pay in um, in a transaction in a day, in a week, blah, 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 um, because it costs them money to handle uh, physical cash uh, money. And so to limit that, they, they're, uh, some banks have started imposing limits on it, which I think I disagree with. Even having worked in retail banking, um, I, would, I, I would disagree with that. Um, because again although you don't always pay for pay for the service in the UK we're very fortunate to have the majority of our um, banking to be free unless you're using borrowing services but when you use borrowing services you're paying uh, into the system so mm, I think we should be able to access our cash as and how we want but uh, I open business accounts because I heard a number of people were being refused by their banks so the best way to, to, to go about it is just to ask in your bank if, if you can do that if this is, is this a service that they will provide and if not walk up and down your high street if you're fortunate enough, fortunate enough to have other banks um, and find out and um, switch your accounts across to a bank that will provide you the service that you require um, so yeah that's my recommendation on that okay Cadbury Kid says we need a territories collection video Christopher love to see all those unusual designs so yes I do like finding territories and crown dependencies um, coins they're always a bit intriguing when they turn up in our change and um, I do actually have off to the side a great big pot I don't think I've sorted through it in about two and a half years it's just been building up and up and up and up and up and I need to sort through it see what I need to add to my collection and the spares uh, they're often things I just send out to people as replies to PO Box videos so uh, once I've cleared that down it'd be quite good but uh, yeah again another interesting again I've got these there's lots of these videos like um, going through my fake uh, £2 coins people want to see or looking at my general oddities box of all the weird and wacky errors and uh, I don't know it's just weird coins sometimes they're just damaged sometimes they just look a bit off color um, the second I'd love to do it's just uh, trying to carve out a bit of time to be able to do that is uh, uh, not always possible but uh, I, it's definitely on my mind because it'd be, it'd be handy to carve out some time to clear through uh, that great big box of um, territory coins that are off to the side find out what is new what is not and then clear the decks down a bit but uh, I'll put a pin I'll put a pin in it and I'll think about it how I can do that best right Bist Bost says, Hi Christopher, at what point do you decide to change the coin towel? What colour is ne is the next towel? Um, oh, I don't know. I just, at some point I go, right, it's time to change. Um, and it is getting very close to that point now because there is a horrible uh, mark on, on the surface. Now, lots of people said, why don't you just use a, a darker coloured, uh, because it is a bar towel for those that, know, that I put down on the desk. Why don't I just use a darker coloured for, um because oh, then the, the dirt won't show through the problem is that really darkens the video um, and it works much better if I've got a light color it brings a bit of light into the video it doesn't look all dark and dingy and horrible um, so that's why I like a light color originally I just picked different colors I'd never had before um, and now I've, I don't think I, I think I ran out of colors that uh, that um, unless you know, let me know in the comments if I've missed a color um, there I have uh, used many many different colors um, and now I just pick a nice bright color when I decide it's it's up but I think very very soon because it is getting a bit gross uh, Yorkshire Mad Mick makes a second um, um, a comment for this video it says how many Kew Gardens have you single-handedly taken out of circulation well yeah. <laughs> tricky one so I have five that I have uh, found through coin hunts in my videos in all the years of making these coin hunts videos um, and so I have found five but one of them my good friend and fellow coin tuber would highly recommend you check the channel out of laughter uh, L-A-F-T-A -A. Um, he found one in a coin hunt we did from my bag of coins for my channel if that makes sense so I'm not sure I could say I single-handedly took that out of circulation because he found that coin in my coin bags. I would have found that bag. That, well, I don't know because I ordered a bunch of bags to take down for that specific trip. So I'm not sure that I would have got that bag if I hadn't made that order. So thanks to him. Uh, and we always play by rules of um, 
if uh, whoever's channel and whoever's bag it is that's the person that keeps the coin regardless of what is found so had we been recording a video uh, of his bag of 50ps for his channel um, and the Q guns turned up he naturally would have kept it so uh, yes um, we always agree that before we come to agreement before we start making the video because you don't want to then be arguing over who gets to keep the Q gardens um, so yes I have four slash five with assistance from a good friend of mine right Mina Carolina or Mina Carolina I, I don't know which way it is uh, but uh, I think we've I've, I've seen your name before and I quite like it right um, hi Christopher was just wondering with the uh, with the older commemorative coins as they get more damage and taken out of circulation do the mint keep any track of what's removed as I would con as I would imagine older coins like public libraries would gradually get more scarce thanks for the mention the other week oh there we go see I did recognize the name so um the answer to that question I think is no there is no record of what is removed from circulation makes it way its way back to the Royal Mint is um, melted down and turned into other coins or whatever they do with the metals um, I think it'd be fascinating I think it'd be really interesting uh, I mean the parallel I would draw is the highest minted commemorative circulating two pound coin uh, is the VE day anniversary released in 2005 I think I'm getting all my numbers and things right um, but when I did a count, I do my counters onto my two pound coin hunts to track some of the videos. When I had a counter tracking the World War One Army Centenary released in 2016, although it has a high mintage figure, not as high as the VE Day anniversary, if I've got my figures right, I was finding way more of the 2016 Army Centenaries than the VE Day anniversaries. So I think you have some, you're correct in your assumption there that the older coins there's more 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 chance that they've been used in circulation, lost on the backs of sofas, um, damaged and had to be replaced. So I think yes, if a modern coin has a high mintage, you're more likely to find that than an older coin uh, with a with an equally or higher mintage, effectively. So it's an interesting thought, and I would love to know. Obviously, it's too late now to try and find out what has been returned and destroyed and we'll never know um, how many of how many of the Kew Gardens have been taken out of circulation by collectors in total uh, that would be a fascinating number and I think I, personally I think there are more in circulation than many people think because um, they do turn up I'm constantly getting messages from people having found their first Kew Gardens but anyway that being said let's go uh, let's get back to the coins well, that unfortunate no alphabet 10 p's, but somewhat to be expected because they are so low mint and hard to find. We got a couple of nice finds though. A nice one from Jersey. It's a little bit grubby. A good vintage though, if I say so myself. 1992. Very, very good year. But look at this one. Now, it always boggles my mind when a Falklands Island uh, coin turns up in one of my coin hunts. That has travelled quite the distance. Um, to get back into our change in the UK 1998 dated lovely design I like animals on coins so that's a big plus from me so uh, no doubt in my mind what the star find is um, if you have found uh, an alphabet tempe this week unlike myself then let us know in the comments what let you found where you found it normally we've got three so I'm not sure my audio is recording but um, <laughs> if it is let us know what alphabet 10 p's you found this week what letter they are and where you found it all it leads me to do now though is thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins bye